time, buddy. So D5 just released version 2.8. And with that, they released a new AI tool, an AI enhancer. And so I've been kind of playing around with it a little bit today. And uh, I just wanted to run through sort of my experience with it and just show you how it works. Now, as of, you know, right now, there hasn't been an official video. So I'm just going to kind of give you some pointers based on what I've experienced in the last few hours. So here we've got our scene set up. Please note, I'm using the uh, exterior overcast preset from D5 Studio to light this ca uh, container style home. Now, you'll notice up on the top right of the screen, we have the AI enhancer button. It's, it's built into this sort of environment tab within D5. So the first thing you'll notice when you actually click on this, so this is like my previous test run. So it's a little bit kind of, the interface is a little bit janky. You, you can see we can also click on enhancement tasks and it'll show you kind of your previous work. Now, in order to get this work, I'm gonna X out of this and we actually will do a proper render. So I'm gonna do just image render and I'm gonna put this at 4K. You know, I've noticed this thing is, this is slow. So I'm gonna move myself out of the way here. Whoop, there we go. And then we've got original 4K JPEG. And I'm going to just save this on my desktop or somewhere just to have a single render done. I'll pause the video and we'll be right back. Just a reminder, we're doing this in 4K, uh, not 6 or 8 or anything higher. Just because I think the AI enhancer thing, it's quite slow. Okay, you'll notice that 4K image took me about a minute to render. And as soon as it says render complete, you have an option for the AI enhancer. Now this took me a little bit of time to figure out, like I kept trying to figure out how you could just load up an image and then sort of like run the AI enhancer. But you, I, to the best of my knowledge, you can't. You do have to run or render an image first. All right, now that we've got our render done, I am going to click on AI enhancer. And here is our actual shot. All right. Move myself out of the way. Now, you do have some sort of options for specified partition. Now, to the best of my knowledge, this seems to be at, what I think it's doing is allowing you to pick and choose specific areas. Uh, I have not really experimented with that. I tried doing it on a piece of a road in another render and it sort of kind of crashed. So we're going to extend that. So I'm just going to leave this set to normal. Uh, I would, you know, weak and strong. You know, strong is kind of what crashed. Uh, so I'm just going to leave this on normal. And we're going to click enhance. And this will take a while. I'll, I'll pause the video right here. All right, everybody. So that took a, kind of roughly about like six or seven minutes for me here. Now, I suspect that there is a bit of a time delay. I did get a notification saying I was like sort of in line or in a queue. And I suspect that that's probably because every D5 user right now who's upgraded is probably also kind of playing along and just kind of, you know, using this. Uh, it is kind of cool, though. Um, I do want to take a, you know, a, a kind of critical look at it really quickly. I'm going to just zoom across here. Uh, on the left, we have the original, and on the right, we have the enhance. So the first thing I'm looking at right now, if I just zoom out here, let's look at the reflections on this section of the container home. And you can kind of see the original D5 reflections. You know, not, not completely wrong or anything like that. Wow. They are uh, substantially sharper. Um, that that part is, is really, really quite impressive. Let's look at this rock as well down here. You know, a static inanimate object. There should be no problem really with that. Yeah, I mean, that that is... That's actually really genuinely impressive. I mean, they've taken, that was a, I think a D5 rock, one of just the standard environment rocks. And they seem to have replaced it with just a higher fidelity sort of AI generated rock. It's actually really quite good. Uh, yeah, okay, the grass, they see sort of a curious effect going on here. It seems to have really emphasized the shadows a lot. And you'll notice individual blades do seem to become a lot sharper. Now, remember, this is a 4K image. It's not 6 or 8. So there probably was, you can kind of see that, substantial blur within the image full stop. 
Now, the flowers on the vertical wall here, this, uh, yeah. I'm sort of 50-50 on this one. I liked kind of what I had done, and I'm not sure. I mean, they've really, you can see the color change from orange to yellow. You can also see, again, they really kind of darken the shadows in here, the slope or shadows. So, yeah, that part, is it cool? Yeah, it is. You, If you notice it actually on this section at the very top here, just on top of the container, we go again from left to right. Honestly, I kind of feel like I prefer the original D5, but that's just, that could be personal preference. Now, other areas, yeah, they seem to have kind of got, taken some creative license. I'm looking at the fire right here, and you can kind of see if I go, this was the original fire pit, which was meant to be a fire pit, and then they've kind of just replaced it with some sort of gray thing. I'm not really sure that the AI Enhance really understood exactly what this was supposed to be. There's a couple of other things we could take a look at as well. You you kind of get a much better job seeing into the building. It's actually removed quite a bit of the glass reflection up here. That part, I, I think, is actually way better looking than what we got at the 4K D5. And again, if we're just looking at the glass here, some of the reflections, uh, I'm not actually sure why I'm getting a reflection up here on the ceiling. I think that's actually the glass is actually doing that, unless I've made a major mistake in the model, which is very possible too. But the last thing I did want to do was uh, take a look at this section over here with the foliage. This is um, this is really, really impressive stuff. I mean, you can see the model here, I believe, was one of the lower poly models because there was quite a lot of them. And you can see how smudgy the background is here. Like, that just looks pretty crap. But then you just... <laughs> that is... That is quite impressive. Now, is it taking away some parts of your scene? Yeah, it seems to be kind of rejigging it completely. But, the you know, the heart and soul of the image is still there. It's just that everything looks a little bit better. I am... I am quite blown away by this. Uh, I did a video recently on some of the other AI tools, and some of them in D5 were like, yay! And some were kind of like, cool. Um, but th this is this is actually quite, quite impressive. Now, I do have one slight concern with this, just kind of looking at it and just kind of, you know, trying to be a little bit more critical. One of the complaints I have with D5, as it currently stands, and especially with the newer AI tools, like literally the sky matching, where I download effectively someone else's landscape environment lighting and use it in my scene. Really, really cool idea. But one of the major criticisms sort of that I have with D5 at the moment is that all the D5 work is starting to look the same. Everyone's using the same HRI skies, and I'm absolutely guilty of this, absolutely guilty of this. Uh, we're all using the same sort of lighting setup, for want of a better term. There's a lot of overcast skies being used. And like I said, I am absolutely guilty of this too. My concern with this, just looking at the sort of just, you know, looking at what it's doing to the grass and what it's doing to the trees is, you know, I suspect you're going to see even more of the same looking artwork because... A lot of us will end up doing the exact same thing, which is basically this. Do your render and then run it through the AI Enhanced tool. And it'll all look fantastic. And it will all look absolutely the same. Yeah, in saying this, uh, just one last thing I want to comment on before I leave it off. Uh, I did watch a, a video recently by Nuno Silva, which is, if you were watching this channel, you obviously know who that is. Uh, which was on a comparable AI tool but the AI enhanced tool was something like $30 a month or something. Uh, it was quite expensive, you know, on top of all of our other subscriptions, you know, D5, SketchUp, Adobe, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I said it was really, really cool. But now you're just getting this within D5 sort of ish for free, which is really, really cool. Okay, uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for today. Thank you for watching my slightly rambling but somewhat excited thoughts on the D5 AI Enhancer. Yeah, it's it's really, really cool. Go check it out. And uh, just remember, you do have to do a render first. You can't just load up your renders. 
Uh, all right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Um, cheers.